I now want to go into a subject that's near and dear to many people's hearts, and that's the subject of debt or borrowing money from the bank. I hear many people say, cut up your credit cards and get out of debt. And I would say for probably 90% of the population, that's very good advice, simply because most people, since we're not taught much about money or accounting or investing at school, that's good advice. But if you're going to become rich, you must know the difference between good debt and bad debt or how to use your banker's money or other people's money to become rich. So a successful, financially successful person knows how to use debt to get rich, where most people use debt to get poor. When you look down at a financial statement, it's very simple to see here. There's assets and liabilities. What most people are doing is they're borrowing money either for expenses or they're borrowing money for liabilities. That's bad debt. If you want to become rich, you need to borrow money to buy assets. Assets are, you can, so in other words, you're borrowing money or going into debt to get rich. Most people are trying to pay off debt, which is a good move, like I said, because they borrowed money for expenses and for liabilities. In this board game, you will find the interest rate is 120%. Now, most people say, well, that's too high, or that's usury, and it is. But the reason we made the interest rate so high in this board game cash flow is to demonstrate to you that if you know how to invest, you can borrow money at a high interest rate and still make money. That is the lesson of this game, and that's how you use debt. There's good debt and bad debt. The choice is up to you which one you use. The higher your financial intelligence, the more good debt you can use and get out of this rat race and get on, to, get on with your dream.